do you want to have? 10 views, 4 likes, 90 dislikes and 0 comments on your next video? Then keep watching. There are a couple of secrets, really big secrets, which can play a role if your videos are engaging to watch or not. In this tutorial, I will cover some stuff so your video watch time will extend so that the algorithm might reward that with some sick ass clicks and thumbs ups and subscribers Subscribe. so your parents can be proud of yourself and give you finally the love you deserve. And this is what you need. A mouse, a keyboard, some camera gear, a PC, two healthy hands and an idea. I call it the three second rule. The three second rule. Keep your viewer interested with one of these points at least every three seconds. A cutaway, some text, a zoom, a effect, some kind of a sound, a music change, a crop, or a new kind of information. Of course, the style that you use should fit the purpose of the video, but if it just means like doing random shit, I would always say that's fine, because in this social media world we're already so fucked that it's always nice to surprise the brain. Say as less as possible, but as much as necessary. I really love the saying that you should shorten the amount of words you say within a day by 50% and you have way more energy for other stuff. Speaking costs energy. And an even better point is, if you keep it short, you're gonna save other people's time. Do stuff the viewer's not expecting. If you start the video, and I start most of my videos with Hey, what's up everybody? And it's Peter, and in today's tutorial, well, I'm going to show you how you can make a... That's pretty boring, because I always say the same, but for example, if you just mix it up a little bit, it's probably a bit more interesting. So for example, hey, what's up everybody? It's Peter and it's today's tutorial. Or you just film yourself on a high angle, or you just film yourself in the dark and point a torch to your nose, or you just like underline your video with shiny subtitles. It didn't make any sense, but life doesn't always have to make sense. Story. If you can't tell the purpose of your video, it's probably better if you're not making it. Purpose can be all sorts of things which is triggering some kind of emotion in the viewer. You clicked on this video because you are curious, you want to learn new things about filmmaking. If you just click on Daniel Schiffer bureau sequences the whole day, you want to get inspired, probably you want to adapt stuff of his videos to your video. Or if you watch TikTok content the whole day, and some of you are doing that because I know that, I know that you guys are watching TikToks the whole day, you want to feel entertained, you want to feel happy, you want to feel joy because that TikTok thing is actually pretty funny in some cases. So if you've ever watched a TikTok in your life, I would say hit like now and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, thanks. So there's always a reason behind the video why you are clicking. Find out what's the purpose of your video. Explain the purpose of your video in your title and in your thumbnail so you don't have to repeat it vocally in the beginning of your video. This is also a huge respect to the viewer's time because as we all know in this society, nobody has time. Everybody has time for swiping up TikToks and watching Instagram stories, but nobody has time to watch a YouTube video in his full length. And people like me are suffering about that and have really like mental health problems if the watch time is like 50% or something. I just wanted to get that out here. Click like and subscribe because that really helps out the channel and I would say, ah, drop me a comment, drop me a comment. I forgot to say, drop a comment, drop a comment. What was your favorite tip? Drop the comment down below. Very nice, thanks a lot. And yeah, I wish you a great day. Just the best. I'm Peter, peace.